Alright, we're fresh as a daisy. Let's have a look what this letter is, eh? My dear Arthur, I hope this letter finds you well. I wanted to thank you for your help with Jamie. He and Daddy are still arguing, but I understand that Jamie is thinking about going back to college. Whatever happens, I believe you saved his life and we are all truly grateful. Oh, Arthur, I have made such a mess of my life time and again. Why can I not change and be the woman I want to be? Why couldn't you change and be a man and put down all those fantasies that shroud your judgment? Life is very confusing, and I see now that I'm not very good at it. I'm afraid we've got ourselves into another mess. It's not my fault, but I need your help. I'm staying at the Hotel Grand in San Denis. Oh, Arthur. I know it is wrong to ask you, but I have nobody else, and for what we once had together, I beg of you, even though I am ashamed to do so. Yours, Mary. Hello, kids. Come crawling back to us. Hmm. All right. Hey, what's up? How you doing? Sure is nice seeing the kid back around. I don't know if I could have gone on much longer. <laughs> we just talked for this hole in the wall. <laughs> All right. Um. I guess we'll go over and see what Hosea is up to, eh? I'm sure that'll probably take us back into town anyway. Hello, Jose. How you doing, Matt? What up? Jose? Hey, Arthur. Come on! If we're gonna make it to this party, we yeah. sure as shit better clean up a little. So we're doing this? Oh, yeah. Old friend Dutch van der Linde's finally showing his true colors. Social climbing. <laughs> Old Senor Bronte, that horrendous snake, has invited us to the ball, Cinderella. So my suggestion is we go and get you a gown. <laughs> you son of a bitch. Oh, this will be fun. <laughs> we are ridiculous. <laughs> Utterly. I ain't never been to a ball in my life. Nor have I, if I am being honest. I used to quite often. There could be fine tickets. Oh, no, 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 no pickpocketing. We are here to make real contact. What kind of contact? Well, I don't know. We'll find what we can. All I know for sure is we are going to a party at the mayor's house, and the guest of honor is the worst crook in town. <laughs> I am sure that we will find some. Okay. <laughs> Gentlemen, Luca. I'm afraid the mayor does not allow guns at official functions after last year's incident. Luca here will take you to Mr. Bronte. I believe he is expecting you. Follow me, gentlemen. <laughs> this way, please, gentlemen. A senior Bronte will be so pleased that you made it. We are honored to oh, be Look how fancy I am. Come come this way. Uh, what a beautiful evening it shall be. Mr. Bronte. Look at Bill's pants are too short. <laughs> it's his shit. Sucks. Senor Napoli. As long as the mayor behaves himself, you know. Mr. Bronte, he has a the thing, you know. Respect. Oh. Respect. Bill, you join the party. We'll meet you out back after we pay our respects to Senor Bronte. Come come. Oh, Bill gets, we'll Bill gets sidelined. Oh, so, so is Hosea. Just me and, me and Dutch, eh? The old crew. So fancy. We gotta fuck this place up, aren't we? I can just feel it. There's gonna be bullets flying in this room. Who arrived 
And you've washed for the prima volta questo mese, senza dubbio. Oh, this is quite a party you've invited us to. Yes, quite something. Although I'm not quite sure what. So, this is Sandini High Society. Yes, apparently so. And all these people, these are friends of yours, Senor Bronte? No, 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 not quite, not quite. But they certainly are afraid of me. Like that one. See that wretch? He's the mayor. <laughs> Henri Lemieux. <laughs> You'll do anything for a dollar, and I mean anything. <laughs> Politics is a foul business. Yes. Oh, and that one too. That is Alberto Fuzar. He owns a sugar plantation out on the island, and he comes here to whore and despoil himself. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, and that, that is Hobart Crawley, <laughs> a, a confederate major in the war. I mean, a hero, they say, but that is his, his very young wife. I mean, a young mistress, that's the natural order of things, yes, but a young wife is unseemly. Oh, oh, the Redskins. <laughs> I have no sympathy for them, because whoever is stupid enough to get tricked by the Americans, no, they get what they deserve, huh? <laughs> yes, hand a letter to the mayor. Oh, yeah, that'll save you. <laughs> and that, that is Hector Fellows. This self-righteous newspaper man. Maybe, maybe you will kill him for me one day. <laughs> well, we're not paid killers as such. Not in cold blood, anyway. I did not know you were so particular that uh, you wouldn't help a friend. Oh, I'm willing to help in any way I can, uh, within reason. <laughs> I'm going to pretend to understand what that means. I meant no offense, sir. Well, none taken. None taken! <laughs> <laughs> All these vulgar people. They hate me. <laughs> non vedo l'ora di guardarti morire. <laughs> well, uh, it has been wonderful conversing with you, but I can tell that you are very busy and I won't waste any more of your time. Yes, yes, yes. Go, enjoy yourselves and mingle with this vulgar scum. It'll make you long for the days when you could shoot each other and screw cows out on the open range. <laughs> Those sure were the days. <laughs> Good day, <laughs> gentlemen. Mm, good day to you. But uh, before you go, what uh, exactly are your plans here? Well, we've not made any... Well, we, we are going to need some money. Money, yes, of course. Well, there's, there's money at the trolley station. They keep a lot of cash there in the day. Now, I could not involve myself in such uh, matters. But you... Pff, as a guest, yes, as my guest, bah, do it, huh? <laughs> okay, good day, gentlemen. Goodbye. <laughs> okay, ragazzi, adesso il vino buono. Sì. <laughs> Man, it's gonna I'll be fun putting a bullet in that guy. If you'll kindly follow me. Oh, what do you close that door for? Huh? Huh? What's in here? Hmm. Gentlemen, enjoy your evening and welcome once again to Saint Denis. Ciao, ciao. Ciao, ciao. Gentlemen, let's go ingratiate ourselves. Oh, I'm falling way behind. I'm coming. Place to rob them. Bill, go make us some new friends. I'm gonna find out if old Cornwall and what's his name, Milton, knows we're here. Gentlemen, be well. Good evening, sir. Good evening. We rolling up. That you sitting here for, lady. How you doing? Yeah, sure. A small one. Just yeah, you're drunk. Enough for me to swim the lakes, you know? <laughs> there that is. Hello, sir. Hello. I used to be a great beauty. She's gone. She's tanked that lady. How do you do? How do you do? I say you're looking lovely today. Thank you. You, you're a charmer. Evening, folks. 
Bonjour, monsieur. Oh, French. Hello. How are you all doing? Original. I'm from Quebec, but I left many moons ago. And you? No. I came down from New York for a job. I'm a banker. Ooh, a banker. How do you do? You're the fellows who never lend me money when I need it. Help this dude. You nearly you died. Okay? You're up, buddy. I just saved your life. Give me a thousand dollars. What a way to go, eh? Thank you, sir. Oh, yes. Thank you. I'll do this. Hello. The Cassidy is Kilgore. Hello, Mr. Kilgore. No, what is it that, uh, that you do? Um, uh... I'm an adventurer. <laughs> oh, me too. Pursuer of the exotic and the remarkable. An esthete in this land of commonplace heathens. My card, sir. I made a lot of cash. Thank you. Pay me a visit in my atelier. I must just go and purge. I intend to stay thin. Until I pass away. Okay. Good evening. Almost all the Caribbean trade banks with us. We work with all the remaining cotton growers in the U.S. who still use a lot of cash, and we help finance ah, even in all construction projects How do you after do? the war. We love big finance. Hmm. He love. seems like someone with Robin. Our branch alone here in town. All right. Let's uh, see what else we can find around here. It looks like I've got a yellow dot over here now. Ladies. What's over here? Something's going on here. Are more complex in the matters of men than in the heads of the intellectuals. <laughs> It ain't complex, and you, and only an idiot like you, buddy, would try to make it so. I will not deny idiocy, so, but perhaps now is not the time. <laughs> Typical pansy. You are drunk, Ferdinand. <laughs> I'm not drunk, you fool. But this man, this man loves darkies. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> you are pretty drunk. Yeah. What say you and me cool off? Me. Come on, sleep it off. Man, we're just like taking this dude out. Eh? Right, okay. God damn it. Sit down and calm down. Count to a thousand. Hello, people. Hello, mister. Hello. Rare with security. Thank you, sir. My pleasure. Henri Lemieux. I hope you're enjoying my party. The mayor. Allegedly. That's quite a place you got here. <laughs> it's not mine, and the city is horribly in debt, but we can still put on a good show. Do you know Evelyn Miller? My lord. Ryder? Well, we seem to have another deranged drunkard on our hands. Shall we? Oh, oh, oh. Boom. My lord, they're fantastic. Mr. Cornwall was quite insistent, I'm afraid. Uh, he shouted down the telephone for several minutes. Mr. Cornwall is a horse's ass and a bad horse. I'm very sorry, sir. It's not your fault. I'm a fool for trusting him. I'll come in inside in a minute. Let me enjoy the fireworks. Of course. Did he say something about Cornwall? Yes. Find out what. Sure. Now we're running with this Cornwall again. Sneaky, sneaky. Beautiful. I'm not gonna get too close. I'm just 
trying to find the bathroom. well secured good mr bronte has a habit of wandering about and reading whatever he likes <laughs> we're watching him and his men like hawks thank you mr Ter. Taken care? The telephone, it keeps ringing. The mayor said he will sign later. <sighs> Marie! Marie! Find that little reprobate Jip and beat him! I will not have standard slip in this house! <sighs> have you lost your mind? I said, have you lost your mind? Come here. Come here. Look at me. Look at me. Who do you think you are? This area is not meant for the likes of you. You know this. The standards in this house are slipping. This is a final warning to you, miss. A final warning. Now get out of my sight. Um, he went upstairs. Shit, I think I'm losing him. That's the move. What's he up to? smoothly as you can hope I guess oh shouldn't be running like that probably. hi there oh where is he oh is he up here hello oh there he's right there <laughs> what up bitch find anything I think so no this town is a waste of time. Maybe not. I think. Gentlemen, I think we're done here. What did you find out? There's plenty of money, Musu, here, of course, and I, I think I found out how we can grab some of it. A big bank. Real one, I mean. But not yet. A city bank? Maybe. And a stuffed one. If we're gonna leave, that could be the one thing we need. There's also that trolley car station Senor Bronte told us about, and I heard about a high stakes poker game. Come on. I like the idea of a high stakes poker game. I'll get in on that action. Yeah, you better give a second fuck. All right. Let's get in. Go home. Oh, I ain't never felt so awkward in all my life. All them folk are so pleased with themselves. Oh, high society's pigeon shit. If you ask me, it's more like torture. Well, that's sort of the point, isn't it? Let the people torture themselves. Here's them papers I took. Let <sighs> me see you take this. I don't think so. Hmm. 
I might have an idea. Let me think on it. <laughs> Interesting times. <laughs> I guess. So what's next? Dancing lessons? Deportment? More along the lines of armed robbery. Jose is handling reconnaissance on the bank. He and Abigail are gonna run some distractions, see how the law reacts. Good. Oh, and I spoke to Evelyn Miller, fine man, here helping the Indian chief we saw. Yeah, I met him too, with the mayor. He's lobbying officials in San Denis on their behalf. Maybe we could help. Maybe. Now, I think there's a lot of money on the riverboat. A lot of money. And Trelawney, he's investigating for us. He says to meet him at the Taylors. Okay. One big score down here, Arthur, and we disappear. We are almost heading home. Where is home? I don't know. Exactly. But I can smell it. I'm gonna go investigate this trolley thing old Bronte was talking about. Okay. <clears throat> well, it seems like there's a lot of things today. Oh, is this my room? Okay. Where'd Dutch go? He would have literally had to walk out that door and then walk back in this door. <laughs> hey, Abigail, how you doing? My lady. Arthur. Alright. Let's have a look at our map here. Yep, we got some more Leopold Strauss stuff. Oh jeez, look at all this stuff in town now. We got Halgamosp. And we got Mary Linton. And we got Trawny. And we got Stranger. Dutch mentioned the gang might be able to help Evelyn Miller. Okay, well there's a lot of stuff to do then. We've got another bounty over here still. Can we fast travel to Strawberry? Maybe we should fast travel to Strawberry and knock out that bounty quickly. Um, maybe we should go to see Strauss first. Yeah, we'll go see Strauss first. And we'll fast travel over to Strawberry if we can. Hey Karen. I tell you you're what, drunken? little Miss Romance. I Ooh. was right. About what? San Denis. How so? It ain't romantic. It's evil. <laughs> evil can be very romantic. Shut up. I talked to this couple in town. They told me there's this old rumor about people drinking blood. Human blood in town. <laughs> That's just a silly old wives' tale. What? Blood drinking ain't romantic enough for you? Depends on whose blood. Very funny. <laughs> <laughs> okay. She's trying to romance Arthur, so she makes some nonsense. Don't we all? <laughs> you okay, Mary Beth? Yes. Glad you and Susan got to Tilly in time. Yeah. Let's just hope that gang stays away from her now. Okay. Wonder if we'll run into that blood drinking stuff. Be interesting. All right, where you at, Leopold? Man, I hate how slow you walk around camp. It's a bit frustrating. Still working, Mr. Strauss. What you been up to? Trying to wrap up our accounts before we leave, Mr. Morgan. So you'll be joining us in Tahiti? I uh, rather fancied Australia. 
A similar kind of people to us. Lots of opportunity. Dutch tells me we're going to be rich. Perhaps, but um, so far we have not raised many cattle. No. So, Mr. Morgan, will you help me finalize our business here? <coughs> this is filthy work. We'll need money in Australia. Oh, for cattle and feed, I mean. Why flinch now? You never have done before. I don't know. Well, here they are. Some fishermen by the name of Davison, Algy Davison, living in a place called Catfish Jackson near Scarlet Meadows. A fisherman. And that's it. They're a union built on that, you know. Yeah. Okay. They, um, I noticed they're chucking in Arthur's coughing in scenes and stuff. I wonder if that's hinting at something. He's sick, or maybe. Let's have a look at our map here. So that debtor, where was he? Oh, down here. And then we got that one up at Strawberry. Alright, I want to journey as a fast travel and see if we can get to Strawberry. This him? Yeah, this will be him. Hey, mate. Wind homes. I didn't expect to run into no one out here. Hmm. Funny how far a man's debts will follow him. You got some money for me, boy? I seen your name in our ledger. You're with the German? Look, I, I got it for you. It's just, I don't got it yet. I it's up in them hills. Mm. You panning for it? Hunting it. I tracked this cougar. It's rare. Lily white coat. The pelt to more and cover what I owe. If I'm skinning anything, I'm skinning you, boy. Please, I'm out of work. It's the only way you'll get paid, and, and all the hard work's already done. Fine. Move. We'll, um, uh, need our horses. It's, um, quite a trip. Yeah, yeah. Hey. That's quite a trip. Why, what are you bloody doing over here, then? Why aren't you where it is? Yeah, you useless goddamn right, bastard. Boy, let's get where we're going. Drive. Okay, follow me. Ah. Come on. Drive. I'm driving. Make me come out here, make me chase all over this goddamn mountain. Hey, you knew it was a risk. I didn't know nothing. Your name's all I knew. Well, the German speaking fella then, Mr. Strauss, he knew my work situation was precarious, that this whole thing was a, a risky venture. Wait, risky? I'm mean, I at risk now? Are you threatening me, Winton Holmes? We are chasing a cougar. No, certainly not. Sir, I'm, I'm merely stating a man without a job, with limited prospects, at those rates, repayment was by no means guaranteed. I said I'd do my best, and I did. You're continuing to annoy me. We're going right here, up the stream. There you have a bath, boy. Maybe I should jump in here and have a wash. How about this then? I guarantee you, Pete. Because I'm going to get that money out of you. I gotta squeeze you like a lemon. It's coming out. Yeah, of course. We're on to it now, okay? We're on to it now. The cash is in that cougar, mister. Sure as pumpkins ain't cauliflowers, the cash is in that cougar. <sighs> it better be. Or I'll turn you into a goddamn cauliflower. <laughs> Great insult. Got him. <laughs> You're a cauliflower. We ain't too far now. What I know about cats. This one's rare as hen's teeth. I mean, you ever seen an alabaster wildcat? Big thing about cougars is they see you, not the other way around. That may be, but you'd see this one. I've been hunting with my pa. Shot all kinds of cats. Never one like this. In another life, 
I'd have sought my fortune outdoors, not in the hot, stinking belly of a tar pit. I ain't interested in your regrets or your life story, Mr. Holmes. Just your damn money. Try. We are gonna need a bow, and we're gonna need probably the bolt rifle. I don't know if we're going to be able to kill a cougar with a bow. Oh, it's a bit snowy up here. This is it. Her den. We should leave the horses. 